This year's Indianapolis 500 is special for those who have waited more than a year to pick up old traditions and see old friends. Last year's race was delayed until August and fans were not allowed inside Indianapolis Motor Speedway due to the pandemic. WRTV's Megan Sanctorum spent the day in Speedway and shares what this year's Indy 500 means to fans as a sense of normalcy returns to the 16th in Georgetown area. It's a cloudy and rainy day here in Speedway, but that is not slowing fans down one bit. They are out, they are excited and ready for race weekend. It will be the biggest gathering in the country since the start of the pandemic. And for some, it's their first feeling of normalcy since then as well. Last year was a COVID 500. This year is the vaccinated 500. I'm so glad that we can be back this year. It's just it's just wonderful. Scott Wright came all the way from St. Paul, Minnesota. 602 miles, if my truck is correct. Miles he's willing to drive for the Indy 500 and miles that help keep a two decade long tradition alive. It doesn't matter what the weather is. Uh, certainly we make ourselves comfortable in our uh, little camping setup. Uh, we've done it for many years. The people he met in this lot, now lifelong friends. And the people are what make this weekend so special for Speedway residents too. It's just fun meeting everybody, finding out where they're from. Jim Elliott lives right near the track. It's fun. It is fun. Um, we've been here since 2006, I think, and, and my mother moved in next door three or four years ago, and she loves it just as much. His garage full of racing memorabilia. His yard will soon be home to people looking for a place to park and camp out. I think it's huge. It, it, it's going to be a big weekend. Most of the people that park here aren't from Indianapolis. They're elsewhere, Kansas, Texas, and everywhere else. And they come here for the 500, for the people, and for an experience you won't find anywhere else. It's just wonderful to come back to Indianapolis. Um, it, it, you know, it's fast, loud, it smells good. What, you know, what could be better? Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, WRTV. Well, the Indianapolis 500 is sold out. The track will operate at 40% capacity, so 135,000 fans will be in the stands.